I have an update on refrigeration of soldier fly larva. Uh, so these guys went in on Monday, uh, Monday morning. Uh, they went into a fridge. I put a sensor in there as well. Uh, the temperature in that fridge uh, next to these guys was 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for the full uh, two and a half days. I took them out this morning, so two and a half days. Um, and they are looking really good. So what I was worried about in this container was crush, uh, crush weight on the bottom. Um, and so as far as I can tell, everything's still moving down there. They're still doing okay. The ones on top now are doing fine as well. And I'll continue to monitor and just kind of make sure to see if there is any potential die off in there and they just haven't started to decompose yet. Um, but they look good. Uh, the other thing that I thought of, um, as I was talking with uh, one of my customers today, uh, mealworms will chew through plastic. So setting a, a container on its side is not good for mealworms, but for the soldier fly larva, they don't, they don't get a foothold in there. Um, I haven't seen them chewing through plastic. And so you could set this container like that, still have the breathability uh, in there, and then it's less weight on them. So I might play around with that a little bit, see how they do, leave them sideways for a while, just to make sure uh, for myself that they're not gonna eat out of there, but I'm pretty confident in that. Um, have not uh, had them doing that yet. Uh, and then the ones in the bag, I've emptied out, and they look fantastic. Um, there's the zip tie I used. I, I don't see any, any dead ones. Uh, it looks like things are all moving okay. Um, and they feel, uh, soldier fly are more moist on the outside than mealworms. And so they feel like a normal, what I'll say is a normal soldier fly, um, that I've experienced so far. So they don't feel dehydrated or dried out. Um, these guys look really good. So I'm thinking cold storage is going to be a, a really good option to be able to buy these in bulk for folks that have, uh, poultry, uh, or feed wild birds. You can buy these in bulk, then uh, save on that cost, store them in the fridge and feed them as needed. Uh, I'll continue to monitor these, get uh, uh, more updates out there. If you have any questions, let me know.